red versus blue is still a thing that's happening and honestly that's a bit mind boggling. I remember discovering it early 2014 and following it damn near religiously till about 2012 when life and stuff made me slowly fall off of it until I stopped watching it altogether and just assumed it had ended sometime between then and now seeing as the company that makes it, Rooster Teeth, has gone on to create actually animated shows, some live action stuff, and even a pretty good, if what I hear is right, movie. So I was really surprised when on a trailer for Ruby, someone wrote a comment that can be summed up as at least I have the newest episodes of Red vs. Blue to tide me over. I mean, think about it. Red vs. Blue is from the early 2000s. It's getting closer to being two decades old rather than one, and it's one of the earliest machinimas and the one that most people think about when they hear the word period. You know, provided of course they know what it means. How many things internet-wise can claim to still be relevant at that age? So I decided, you know what, let's revisit it, see how it's evolved, how it's changed, and if it's nearly as funny as I remember it, or if it's as cringy as I remember many of the early machinimas to be. And you know what? It's not that bad. A bit juvenile in its comedy, and at times just skirting along mediocre, but it had me consistently amused and outright laughing at certain jokes and gags, but it's more laid back than I recall later seasons to be. Not as many jokes per second, not as many outrageous gags, and the action, if it can be called that, consists mostly of, well, a bunch of encounters reminiscent of people who are not the greatest at first-person shooters. One thing I was very surprised by was, was the characters' personalities. While you can plainly tell who's who, it's a bit jarring to not see them acting in their exaggerated, almost assuredly mentally disordered personalities. Okay, and see them evolve from rather normal, if slightly darkly humored people into the damn near functional psychopaths they are in later seasons. Well, aside from Caboose, but he's basically hemorrhaging brain cells since the episode he appears. No! No! Wait! Go back! Why are there six pedals if there are only four directions? In terms of plot, well, season one doesn't really have one. It's honestly more of a sitcom in space than anything else. There is a sort of overarching plot and cohesion in there if you squint, but mostly the series is driven by episode to episode goofs and gags, and only really gets plot heavy in the later third of the season, and even then I use that term lightly. Honestly, Red vs. Blue Season 1 is entertaining and nostalgic little trip to go through. Not as bad as I feared it would be, and legitimately funny in some places. There are many worse ways to spend an hour and 20 minutes. If you are craving something humorous and not at all serious, then I can think of much worse ways to spend some time. Even if you haven't watched it, I suggest you give it a shot. It's available for free, both on Rooster Teeth's website and YouTube, along with being available to watch on Netflix. Well, that's been my little opinion and look at Season 1. I know it's not that very long, but there's not really much that can be said about Season 1. So, if you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you would be so kind, check out my other channels, my Let's Play channel and my sort of vlog channel thing where I'm doing some unboxings mostly. And as always, check out my Patreon if you enjoyed this and would like to support it, or just check out my Amazon wishlist or other links down below. And of course, feel free to stalk me on Twitter. So that's been me, Juan John John, for the day. Hope you have a good day now. I'll see y'all next time.